Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Open the Book story. This week, it is the king who would not listen. We hope you enjoy the story, um, and uh, we look forward to actually being able to perform these in the future, in person, back in school. But for now, um, sit back and listen and watch. Has your mum ever said to you with a big sigh, how many more times do I have to tell you? It might be switch off the TV and go to bed, or you'll be late for school if you don't get a move on. In today's story, a good man named Jeremiah has been warning the king again and again that he is doing wrong in God's eyes, but the king doesn't want to hear. Let's open the book at the story called The King Who Would Not Listen. God spoke to his prophet Jeremiah, and Jeremiah listened to him and wrote it all down in a scroll. He went to the temple to tell the people God's message, and they listened. He told them how God how sad God was that they had forgotten about the good things he had done for them in the past. He told them that they needed to change the bad ways they were living their lives, especially the king who was wicked and proud. But when the king got to hear about it, he was very angry. That troublemaker. I don't want the people listening to him and his crazy ideas. He's not the kind of prophet I want around here. I want a prophet who will tell the people that God agrees with everything I do. And he sent his soldiers to stop Jeremiah. But Jeremiah heard of the king's plan and he raced away from the temple and hid, taking his scroll with him. He was still determined that the people would hear what God had told him. But how? The king had now forbidden him from even entering the front door of the temple. Well, that's not going to stop me. God has given me a message and I have to tell it. Jeremiah had a friend named Barak, and Jeremiah had a plan. Barak? Would you take the scroll to the temple and read it to the people? That way they'll, <clears throat> they'll still hear God's message, even if I can't get into the temple myself. The next day, as the people were listening carefully to Barak reading Jeremiah's scroll, the soldiers marched into the temple. stamping of their boots and the shouting was all anyone could hear. The soldiers seized the scroll and took it back to the king. He was more angry than ever, but he was also curious to hear what the scroll actually said. <clears throat> it's a load of rubbish, he shouted, waving his arms about. But read it to me anyway. What does it say? And so his captain read out the warnings that the Lord wanted the wicked king to hear. For 23 years, the word of the Lord has spoken to you again and again, but you have not listened. The captain knew the king wouldn't like that one bit. He did it right. Why should I listen to him? He should listen to me. Everyone should listen to me. And the king, who would not listen, tore a piece of the scroll and threw it in the fire. <coughs> Rubbish. Oh, carry on. What? Woe to him who builds his palace on cheating and lies and makes his countrymen work for nothing. You will be ashamed and disgraced for your wickedness. 
No one can prove that I cheat and lie. How dare Jeremiah say that? And the king, who would not listen, tore off another piece and threw it in the fire. More rubbish. The soldier was so distressed by this action that he forgot that he should not criticise the king and called out, Oh, your majesty, don't burn the word of God. You will make God angry. Angry? I'm the only one whose anger you should worry about bellowed the king and waved his arms for more. And then the captain saw that there was something written at the end of the scroll. There's more written here. But the king just put his fingers in his ears. And the king who would not listen put the rest of the scroll in the fire. And he thought that was the end of it. But soon there was the quiet, quick crack of a quill on parchment. With Jeremiah writing down God's message again, word for word. So it really didn't matter that the king burned the scroll. At least the king got to hear God's message. But the king never changed his ideas at all. The sad thing was, but the king didn't read to the end of the scroll. Do you know what God said right at the end? But I have loved you with an everlasting love. I will forgive you and remember your sins no more. God wanted to be friends with the king, but the king just wouldn't listen. <clears throat> What Jeremiah wrote that second time survived. So we can still read his words in the Bible today. The king did not listen to the warnings that God told Jeremiah to write down and speak about. But sadly, they did happen a few years later. That final message of God's love and forgiveness is one which lasts forever. It is just as true today as it was all those years ago. Think about something that your teachers and those who care for you have been trying to tell you over and over again. Perhaps about keeping your room tidy or being careful with your belongings or, or being kind to your brother or sister. Maybe now is the time to start taking notice. And now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end. Thank you, God, that when we do wrong, we can be forgiven. We are sorry that we don't always listen to those trying to help us. Amen. Amen. We hope you all enjoyed watching. Keep safe and have a lovely half term.